Well, the big story right now. Underworld Dawn, an international terrorist, Daoud Ibrahim's own daughter, it seems, has spilled the beans on her father. And Pakistan as well. Daughter, Daoud's daughter, Maharuk, has given away her father's location as Karachi on her Facebook profile. In fact, Pakistan has been denying all along that they've been harboring Daoud Ibrahim after he escaped from India following the 1993 Bombay serial blast. India has time and again demanded that Pakistan hand over Dawood, but to no avail. Pakistan has never accepted that the dawn actually lives on its soil. Now that the denial has been made a lot more difficult with Dawood's daughter and in her Facebook profile clearly mentioning that she misses her father and mother along with a bunch of other relatives who are all staying in Karachi. In fact, I want to quote from her Facebook uh, profile. She adds, everyone in Karachi, she misses everyone in Karachi. The Don's daughter, Maruk, who married former Pakistan cricket captain Javid Meanda's son, Junaid, back in 2005. She lives in Lahore. Maruk's profile also reveals that she went to school in Clifton, an upmarket neighborhood in Karachi, where even the Bhutos had their home. India and its security agencies have time and again said that Dawood lives in Clifton, Karachi. Maruk's Facebook profile had been public till Friday. Anyone could have visited her Facebook page and seen her pictures and information about about 250 friends of hers across the globe. But now, her privacy settings have been changed and the pictures have been blocked. But it's reported that Indian intelligence agencies are aware of Maharuk's Facebook profile. In fact, it's a lie that Pakistan has been perpetrating, has been dishing out for almost two decades now, ever since Dawood escaped from Indian shores in the aftermath of the 1993 Bombay blast case. Pakistan has been repeatedly maintaining that Dawood Ibrahim is not living on its soil. But now it seems that Dawood's daughter, Maharuk, and her Facebook profile have clearly nailed yet another lie. She is in fact referred to all her relatives, including her father and mother, both of, both of whom she says live in Clifton, Karachi. Indian intelligence agencies have been maintaining all along that that is the case. Dawood lives in the Porsche and upmarket neighborhood in Karachi. But Pakistan has been consistently denying that. Now, the daughter telling all in her Facebook profile. All right, evidently this is going to be a topic of discussion as well. When Home Minister P. Chidambaram goes to Pakistan, he'll be going there later this month on the 23rd, 24th and 25th of this month. It'll be the first time the Home Minister will be visiting Pakistan in his official capacity. And he is expected to take this issue up with the Pakistani authorities. Let's go across to Arish Chandra now, who joins us from Mumbai. Arish, this is as much a giveaway as any Indian intelligence agencies have been saying all the while that Dawood does live in Karachi, does live in Clifton. Now his daughter spilling the beans. Well, certainly, Zaga, it has been proved yet again that, uh, uh, that uh, Dawood lives in Karachi and very much in Clifton area, the defense area of uh, Pakistan. So... This has been uh, elaborated and it has been confirmed by his daughter, uh, Maharuk, who uh, in her Facebook uh, status message has indicated that Daud stays in Karachi because the way she has written it clearly means that it is uh, none other than Daud Ibrahim that she's talking about. And more so over the Indian intelligence officials, they have confirmed this uh, thing and they have, be, they, they have said that they have been monitoring this uh, account of uh, Maharuk uh, since quite some time and they have confirmed uh, her very presence on, on Facebook. Time and time again, India has raised this issue up with Pakistan that they need to deport Dawood Ibrahim. He's uh, one of India's most wanted men, wanted in the 93 Bombay blast case and many other cases post that. Uh, the Home Minister will be going to Pakistan uh, in, a few, in, in a week's time or so. Uh, he's expected to raise this issue with the Pakistani authorities. Any, any glimmer of hope that Pakistan may actually even consider such a request? Well, uh, that uh, it seems to be a very uh, minor uh, thing. Uh, I mean, it, it, it doesn't seem that Pakistan will readily accept this because there have been much more uh, stronger evidence of uh, evidence placed by the Indian authorities to Pakistan that uh, pa uh, that doubt is very much in Pakistan. But the Pakistan authorities have clearly refuted to the claims uh, made by the Indian agencies. But then uh, this will form a part of uh, another uh, yet another proof that India will submit before Pakistan by saying that they should hand over Daoud Ibrahim to, pa uh, to India uh, because uh, he is very much in Pakistan and his daughter itself uh, is saying that he is in Pakistan. So certainly it will, uh, it will form a piece of evidence uh, uh, by India 
to Pakistan. But then uh, it it should also it should also convince Pakistan. That is the biggest uh, question whether it will convince Pakistan right. or not. Because Indian officials have been so far claiming that uh, Daud is in Pakistan, but to any of the evidence placed so far, uh, Pakistan has clearly refuted it. Okay, for the moment, uh, Arish Chandra, thanks very much for joining us with your inputs on that story. Clearly, the daughter spilling the beans on Daud Ibrahim, making it a little more difficult for Pakistan to deny that the Don lives on their soil.